so good to be with you. It's the same so long. Hope you have been keeping well. Hope you have been keeping safe. We we think about this as you, as you go about your groups and 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 things like that. It's good to see this lovely season around. I'm sure if you look out your windows, if you're if you're fortunate enough to be near trees or a park or even have a, a garden, you can see that the autumn has come. But with autumn comes lovely colours. And today we're hoping to bring those colours into your home. And what we're going to do today is to celebrate autumn or to celebrate the harvest, whichever way you think. And I'm sure, you know, that lots of these pumpkins are around in our stores. Some of them are very they're gigantic. This is a lovely rearrangement. We want to make together. Now these wee pumpkins, they're just nice tabletop size. They're available in Tesco's. I saw them just a night or two ago, and also in Marks and Spencer's, if you prefer there. They're only 65p, for, and, and they're quite some size. Now I'm not good, good at eating pumpkins, <laughs> so you'll forgive me, but what we're going to do is we're going to make this awkward looking pumpkin, this plain looking pumpkin and there's something that can sit on your table as you come in through the door or in, or in a table in, in your living room or in your kitchen. There's a couple of wee things just that I need to tell you as we go along with it to keep it um, to keep it uh, to keep it from Going by, all right. We'll start that again. There's a couple of wee things I just need to tell you uh, that we can secure it from from going bad, all right. So let's let's bear with it. Here we have the pumpkin, and as you can see, there's some some sides of it are good and some sides of it are bad. And what I have here is an oasis. Now these oases are available in a wise base, or if you can't get them in a wise base, I've got this one in the home bargains. At the minute, they're not easily come by, so you may have to go from one store to the other. But what I propose for you to do is, is, is when you get your oasis, it's a good idea just to cut it in half and then to cut a nice little wedge. Look, you can see you can get four of those wee wedges out of one sheet. So if you had a couple of wee friends that you want to give those as a, as a, as a gift to, um, it's so lovely because with four pumpkins and, a, and an oasis and two wee bunches of flowers, I'll tell you where to get those in a wee second. You can make four lovely wee gifts for harvest. So what I've done is like, just so that you know, these are oases that need to steep in water, all right? So I've got this one already steeped. But what you want to do is, is to cut out, let me bend this down a little. We're going to cut out the shape of this, this wee wedge shape on the side of the pumpkin. So can I suggest you get a pen and before you start soaking, soaking this, um, draw around the shape. Draw around the shape of your wedge. Now you might have to start paring little bits off here and there, but that's, that's the nature of flower arranging, right? Nothing's exact and it comes as a personal. So this is the dangerous part, you really just need some sort of, of, a, of, a, of a knife that will cut through this, maybe a steak knife or a bread knife. And if you're not happy about doing this on your own, get someone that you know that will work with you with this. I really just want to use this to push down inside, right? And then to go along the line, one of the lines, as far as it'll go, rock it if you have to. Now, don't forget, the flowers are going to hide some of it, all right? So don't worry. Then on this bit, rock it a little, 
Try not to stab yourself while you're at it. Just please be very careful. And as I say, ask someone that you're happy with to do that. Go along the lines that you've drawn on the outside. Now, that little wedge shaped, you should be able to pop out. There it goes. All right, just pop that out. Now inside it, you'll see the stringiness and you can smell the pumpkin, the seeds and the stringiness of it and the smell and just lift it. Now look, you don't really need to, you don't really need to scoop that whole lot out. You can if you wish. Just tidy up the edges of it here and there around it with a little sharp knife. That'll help your reds to go in, all right? Just tidy it up. As I say, you don't need to scoop that out. If you feel you want to, just use a big spoon. But look, this is the part that I need to tell you that's going to keep your pumpkin just without the, without the stink. Because if you didn't spray it, it would really only last two or three days and then you would start to smell, you'd smell the smell of the pumpkin. You know what I mean? So if you get a nice wee spray, one of those uh, sunflower spray oils that you would do in the pan, and then very carefully around the edges, just spray it. I mean, that just seals the edges, and it'll make the wee pumpkin display last a whole lot longer. All right, spray inside it. Just be careful of your clothes. Always have a few tissues beside you. And then when you have spread the inside, wipe around the excess, the excess from the outside. Now look, as I said before, I have this one here soaking. This is what you call a two minute oasis. You can get them and you have to soak them for a longer, maybe 20 minutes. But as I say before, wise buys, and home bargains have these two minute oasis. It just means that when you put it in, it only takes two minutes to soak up. Now, look, I want you to try your wedge alongside what you have cut out. And if you feel it's much too big, take your wee knife again and pare away a little bit of your oasis. Now, not too much because you really want to have it to sit in there without wobbling about. So look, I've just taken basically a little slice off, off a couple of sides. Now, here we go. Now, already you can see it's a nice tight fit. So with the palm of your hand, please don't use your fingertips because all your fingertips will do is just put big dents <laughs> in the area. So use the palm of your hand and gently rock it until it's just in and, and left out a little. Now look, it's nice and neat and tidy. Don't push it all the way in. You really need to have about the width of your thumb around the outside so that you can put some of the flowers on it on the sides and at the top and at the bottom. So now look, you're ready. You're ready to start to decorate. Now, this, the stuff that I have here is really just available in some of the communal areas that you might be in. Maybe maybe you have a, a, an, open, an open walkway, maybe you have a garden, maybe you have neighbors who have flowers, uh, shrubs and, and trees. What I have with me today is this, uh, the, like a bay leaf, all right? This one has just got in a communal area on a walkway. I also have this lovely two-tone. Uh, it's almost like, it's almost like holly, all right? But without the spikes. And then I've got the old, good, old faithful oak tree. And they, now they, they bring a little bit of shape and they bring a little bit of dimension 
to to the whole thing. And then just to give it a lovely wee bit of finesse, these lovely wee palm leaves, all right? Nice and fine. You really don't need a whole lot. But what you're better doing is you're starting now on the outside of it, starting with the biggest, the biggest of, 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 your, of your leaves, all right? Now, when you're putting these in, into the side or into the front, just make sure that you've got a length of stem. In fact, don't be scared to pull off some, all right? A length of stem because you really want it to go in without making a giant hole, all right? Push that in at the side. Now, when you're pushing in your leaves or when you're pushing in your, your flowers, don't put them straight in. Put them in at an angle, all right? Because then you'll find that they won't fall out just the same. I'm going to continue around with some of these bigger leaves, all right? Don't forget, you really don't want it that much bigger than the palm of your hand. Look, not much bigger than the palm of your hand because you don't want to hide, you don't want to hide the pumpkin, all right? And although your wee flower arrangement is nice and tidy. You really don't want it to take away from the pulp, pumpkin either. So continue then to put in some of the, the, the leaves, all right? Put one more of this, of this leaf in. Some of you clever clothes could probably tell me the name of this. Maybe just one end underneath. Don't forget underneath. All right, otherwise you'll just have a big skirt. Put one in the underneath. Now we're going to put on one or two of these others. All right, this is the oak tree. And if you're very lucky, sometimes you can get them with an acorn or two still on it. I'm just going to cut two or three off and then find I'll get rid of that first. Again, this one's much too big. I really want you to take some of the leaves off it, all right? Cut down a little. Make sure you take these little buds. See these wee buds? If you don't take the buds off, you're just left with a big hole, and the things will just fall out on you, all right? I'm going to push this down. Another one in. What you're going to try and do is make a triangle of the same leaves. Okay. So try not to put the same leaf together. What I want you to try and do is make a triangle if you're going to use them three times. Even if it's only two leaves. Of the one tree, it'll still work out. Now we're beginning to see a backdrop of leaves. I want you then to think about the front. All right, so these leaves are quite heavy, quite heavy and quite big. I want to start now and make it a little bit more refined, okay? This brings a wee bit more finish to it. And I want you to start then to fill in around the space that we've left. No more than three. One. Right. Even start putting them on the front now, okay? But never stick them in straight. Put them out of an angle. Now I want to start in some of these nicely fine leaves, like a little palm leaf, right? Now these are very fragile, so be very careful when you're putting them in. Give yourself a little bit of a stem, right? And when you're pushing these in, push them in from the bottom. See from the tip? Push them in from the bottom, and that'll start then to give you a nice sweet finish to it, a nice sweet gentleness. 
Look, all, all the way you're doing this is you're giving them some lovely different colors of green. You know that old song, 40 Shades of Green? Well, they're going to be here on your pumpkin, those 40 Shades of Green. Be very gentle to push those down in. Follow it down with it, all right? Otherwise, you'll just bend and break it. Maybe just one more. This one. Not so big. Let's see where I am with this. I think, I think you've got as much greenery on that as you would want. All right, there's three different three different um, leaves. They've, they've, they bring a different dynamic. Some of them are of two colors, some of them are fine, and some of them are quite heavy. There's basically three of three, and that's as much as you would want on that. We're going to start now to bring color to it, all right? And I really don't want you to forget about the sides either. So I have got these flowers, autumn colors, of course, lovely oranges and crimson, yellows. You'll find that you'll even need to have a little bit of white in it just to, to, uh, to break up the colors, all right? And then you'll always have something as a crown, your, your crown jewel. And, and your pumpkin. And this one here, I have a lovely little pink or, um, Gerber. You could put a rose in there if you like, you know, or something big, maybe even a sunflower. But these are the colors we're going to use. So let's start off then with the darkest, because if, if you were ever painting or doing a painting, you start off with the darker color first. And then the lighter color gives it gives it that wee lift. So we're going to start off with a dark color. Now, like you don't want your flowers to be hid. All right. So when you're cutting your flower, you really shouldn't have it much bigger than your big finger. Can you see that? Okay. Don't have it any bigger than your big finger. Because if you push it in too far, you're going to go beyond your, your oasis. Again, with the three colors, I want you to make like a triangular shape, all right? If, as if you've got the three corners on a triangle. <clears throat> One, two, three. Make sure you take the leaves off, otherwise you'll find that it'll fall out. Let me see where I am. One, two. Help it in from the bottom. Always push it in from the bottom. One, two, three. Now we want to use a lighter color of orange, all right? Some of them are much bigger. So they help to fill in the spaces where there's lots of greenery. So if you can look, don't forget along the bottom where you find a big space it's really dark one of these lovely colors will take away the darkness i really thought taking away the darkness and some of us have been through that these past year and a half the darkness at the end you're going to think of a, a triangular one two and then one over here it doesn't need to be so big now the colors are starting to come in that's only two colors and yet you can see the difference that has made now I, I told you before I didn't want you to forget about the sides so if I start them with the yellows start them with the yellows some of those sides are quite bare. And I want you to push those in, into the side. Now, it may, you might want it to sit out a little bit more than the others, okay? Push them into the side at the yellowy color.
as you can see, the sides are just as important. Don't worry too much about the bottom. Now, I have a, I have a couple of Gerbers here, which you, you, I'm going to put in before I start putting the white in, all right? And as you can see, there's a great big hole left here, which is just full of greenery. I'm going to put this Gerber in, which hopefully will take all of that away. You can, of course, get them uh, in different colors. So, Ladles have a lovely range of Gerbers and these colors to go to. Go to. And, and of course, Tesco's as well. And both of them are, are very, very accessible. Excuse me. Make sure, as I say, you push it in by the, the floors from those two places are very affordable, all right? So now you have your jewel in the crown, but as yet you can see that the colors are just orange and red and deep, deep colors. I want to just to start by lighten it up a little, all right? And then you know what you can do is just put a little bit of white. No more than three. And I have to look at the front of this because I'm looking at it upside down. Where you see a dark color, put it in, put it in a little bit of white. Don't forget underneath. No. I I think we we'll have enough flowers or not. You're really only just going to put six or eight flowers in that. But what I want to I want to finish it off by bringing a, a little bit of finesse to it, something that gives it dimension. And I have some of this. All I can say is stringy stuff. You'll find them growing everywhere. A little tiny leaves and great big long shoots. What I'd like you to do is think about just getting two or three of them, putting one out the side. Opposite sides, just brings a wee bit of finesse. Oh. And then I have one more just I want to show you. You put in there. Oh, it's gone, has it? No. There we go. Now, I want to tell you, I'm lucky enough to have a garden. And I'm lucky enough to have birds coming in, no little head sparrows. And one day last year, I put out a hand, handful of seeds. And what happened was, as the birds at, they started to drop some of the seeds, and the seeds fell into the the side of my garden. And then, in a matter of months, these barley ears started to come up. And I said to myself, "They would be lovely to use on a wee wreath." And there you have a very simple. And thankfully, when you when you're making your own, you'll be able to choose your colours. All right. Of course, you can still do the same with Christmas, you know. But this makes a lovely way bottom harvest arrangement. I hope you've enjoyed that. It is a bit messy, but the floor arranging always is. If you're reading. If you're losing water, it always is. You know, chums, we're always worried about you and, and, and keeping safe. We're always thinking about you in our activities. It's good to see some of you who come along to that. And there is other opportunities for activities open to you in, in, in different places. You can go to the Dementia Friendly Spellfast uh, website. 
at dementiafriendlyspellfast.com. And also, you can go on to our, our email, or sorry, our, our website, and look at some of those activities. A range for many different peoples and many different activities in many different ways. Until we meet again, I hope you enjoyed that. Keep tuning in and keep safe. Keep your distance. Keep washing. Keep covered up. Bye for now.